Hi there, welcome to uh, just a chat, really, a chat about Synology NAS and uh, link aggregation. Synology NASes, NASes, what's the plural of NAS, NASes? Anyway, I thought incorrectly that uh, link aggregation worked on an unmanaged switch if you only use, I think it's called adaptive load balancing. And the reason I thought that is because if I go into the uh, NAS here and I go to network and into, let's say, into the help file for network and into link aggregation here, there are various modes that you can, uh, you can choose from. So firstly, you've got adaptive load balancing and it says this mode optimizes the network traffic received and sent by your Synology NAS, whether or not the the switch supports link aggregation. To avoid unexpected errors, please do not enable link aggregation on the switch, even when it is supported. So I thought, mistakenly, that this was the correct mode to use with an unmanaged switch. I just had a simple TP link uh, switch, you know, no, no web interface, nothing, just a basic switch. <clears throat> and so I enabled link aggregation using adaptive load balancing. And it w it suggested that it worked. It came up in a very similar way to, um, to this here on the screen here. So what you can see is that we have the uh, LAN 1, LAN 2, bonded network status, two, gig uh, 2 gigabits. Happy, right? I mean, that bond, this here suggests that it's all correct and all happy. But... Unfortunately, it wasn't, and little did I realize that uh, that that it wasn't happy because it was <laughs> it was actually there was a sort of broadcast storm going out across my network for about two months continuously. Um, <clears throat> one thing I did notice, and I should have spotted it really, is the fact that uh, the both the lights on the NAS were flashing all the time. So, and and I'd also noticed that on the switch itself, it started to happen that all the lights would flash together all the time and of course they don't do that on a switch and they don't do that on a nas either if you got like link aggregation set up correctly the different ports do different things depending on what they decide but that wasn't ha happening in my case both port lights were flashing on the nas and all the lights on my switch were suddenly flashing. I should have spotted it. And I, well, I did spot it. I just didn't think anything of it at the time. I thought maybe that's what, what it's supposed to do. But basically, uh, I had various faults with various devices. So the router in our living room just died on Ethernet. I mean, it's like Wi-Fi was working, but Ethernet had died. What? I mean, when does that ever happen? That really threw me. It was just like, if anything dies, Wi-Fi, yeah, Wi-Fi messes up occasionally. But Ethernet, never ethernet just completely <laughs> fell over and uh, required a reboot of the router and i also had other uh, devices i had a dock here um, where the gigabit ethernet device uh, interface on that just failed and just suddenly stopped tr sending or receiving traffic and it was all ultimately because of this uh, so now i have uh, um, this tp link switch so an actual managed switch where I have the um, ports set up properly with link aggregation. So I've got lit port five and port six here set up with um, link aggregation. And it connected, it looked exactly the same as far as the Synology NAS was concerned, but it just works properly. And you can see that it works properly. So, I mean, if I were to, I don't, this might not work in this particular instance, but let's say if I go to FileZilla here and I connect to my NAS and I transfer a large-ish file down, um, or maybe, I, maybe I'm, I'm going to send one up, actually. I'll put one. Uh, what have I got here? So this one, let me put that on the NAS somewhere. I'll put this in test and transfer this. Right, so we've got a file going to the NAS now. So let's have a look at the um, traffic. There we go. Right. So we've got some traffic happening here on port five, as we would expect. Got nothing happening currently on port six. There's a little bit of traffic there, but nothing significant at all. Port five is where the traffic's happening. Don't know why we're not getting one gigabit per second. It seems that Synology is not always great in that regard. Um, 
Sometimes it works fine, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. This is over FTP at the moment. But let's say I also start now to get my phone here and start streaming something. So if I just pick a film, and uh, this is going to be over Wi-Fi, so I'll just pick a film that I know is like a 4K film on here that I can stream, which will come off the NAS. Uh, so let's play that. And uh, so what you'll see now is if I go into port 6 here, we've now got traffic on there, and that's the traffic from the that's sending to the phone, it's sending to the Wi-Fi on the phone because that's the 4K film coming down. So we've got two different things happening on the two different ports. It's divvied up the traffic and it's doing different things on different ports. So you know when you see that, that link aggregation is doing exactly what it should. In fact, I can prove that to you because look, if you watch that port there now, if I pause this and go out of the app, Boom, there we go, look at that, just plummets because that's the traffic no longer being sent over Wi-Fi. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video about this because uh, if you've had any issue, if you're using uh, link aggregation on the Synology NAS and you're thinking it's working, because I didn't notice any traffic problems, I didn't notice any speed issues or anything like that. If, you're, if you've spotted, uh, if you're using it with an unmanaged switch, look out for that. Look out for some sort of, uh, just a broadcast storm of any kind or any sort of ex you know crazy lights on the switch or on the um or in, most of all look for the lights doing the same thing on the nas itself because uh, they really shouldn't be not all the time i mean they might sometimes but uh, not all the time and you'll probably find that you actually need to invest in a managed switch which in the case of this one which which device is this it's it's not particularly expensive. Um, they're about, I think they're about a hundred pounds or something like that. It's worth it anyway. I mean, it's a bit overkill for what I need, but it means that I'm able to have that feature. Nice to have, you know, that sort of bonded uh, interface of uh, two gigabits per second because you can see there that although I have no interfaces that are more than one gigabit per second, you can it splits up the traffic and um, and does you know just balances the load better than it otherwise would. So let me know if you've had any experience of, experiences of this uh, in the in the comments. If you if you kind of set stuff up, if you I mean, was I completely wrong to even think that an unmanaged switch could be used with link aggregation? Because and, and why doesn't Synology why does it set it up correctly? Then I don't I don't know. I don't see why it sets up the bond perfectly fine and yet throws it out and messes everything up. Oh, before I go, yeah, another thing that I spotted actually, if I go into my uh, my router here, my my Fritz box. So this is the router we use at home. Fritz box. It's really, really, really nice. Actually, I like it a lot, even though it's not particularly well known. So I'm going to enter the mesh network here, and you can see all the um, devices and the NAS here. This can this this NAS says it's connected via one gigabit per second. This had two complete. Or even though the IP was the same, it had two connections. So it had two of these showing on the router. The router effectively had two devices using the same IP, but it was working fine. It basically messed everything up. It, that one network error messed up so many things. And then I started getting these not reporting their locations correctly. You'd have devices on nodes that weren't actually on there at all. It, it just screwed the whole thing up, all because I was using it incorrectly on an unmanaged switch. So there we go. <laughs> Don't know what else to say. That's all I wanted to put in this video. See you later.